hi what's up in today's video we are creating a birthday you know invitation in Corridor 2020 without further ado let's tap into it so let's go over and change our page to a5 which is the normal size you know uh change your lands change the landscape so double click with uh select your uh, rectangular to double click automatically snap into page so right now here are the images that we are going to be using so let's go over and back clip this into place select the image then you go over to uh go over to object then you locate power clip place inside frame then select the frame automatically snap it into place so let's adjust that just like so so mirror it upward so what we are going to do right now is to go over and uh, create you know an object so that we are going to be changing this to blue so let's convert the issue a uh, bitmap select from the drop down menu grayscale it's okay so automatically it changes to that so let's create an object on top of this object just like so change to rare blue then you go over and to select your transparency tool then you from the sub menu you click on, on uniform transparency automatically changes then you go over to this drop down menu select subtract good can you see that so can you see the effect of that so make a copy of that image center it within that then you select the whole thing then let's convert it to bitmap in this case we are changing it to rgb it's okay good so right now what we are going to do is to go over and back clip into this into place then adjust the select bit downward just like so good so right now what we are going to do is to create you know a uh, let's create uh, a polygon select a polygon tool then you hold ctrl key to try perfect polygon tool then change the angle to 6 good so what we are going to do is to change this to white then make a copy inward just like so then make this let's put clip this image into place okay good let's adjust that a little bit good can you see that so so right now what we are going to do is to go over and adjust this so let's go over so just you know group dialog then you right click on this you know portion right here to appear the black outline so what next right now is to go over to give it you know what's it called uh, you know shadow good can you see that so go over to objects look at break sh drop shadow apart good can you see that so let's bring in uh the test make the picture a little bit bigger then adjust it just like so good so let's go over and type you know Let's celebrate. Celebrate. So let's change this to uh, what's it called? Let's change it to Hello Paris. Hello Paris. So make that a little bit bigger. Make it a bit tactical so right now what we're going to do is to change the whole thing to uh futurity then hit ctrl k to break it into pieces so let's type you know mr Aribi Aribi sala So right now let's change it to white then let's go over to change the font to let's go over and change it to edward you can decide to change yours to any font change it to edward 
So right now what I'm going to do is go over and uh, make his name a little bit bigger. And you right click to make the outline a little bit thicker then let's adjust this just like so. So so right now change that up to what's it called? Let's change it to try jan. Good, okay. So right now we are bringing in this change to white, hit control page job. So right now what we're going to do is to go over let's uh, make this a short end. Then let's enter from here. So right now we are going to be using trijan select and change to try jam then center it within that good so right now the next step right now is to go over and uh, let's bring this develop this here so let's change it to try jam then center it within that so in this case let's pull this up a little bit and center it within then pull this up a little bit good so right now the next step is to just you know pull this a little bit up i'm not okay with this so let me just change this to morgan so you can decide to use any font so I think this is okay. So let's change this to uh, Futura T. Good. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Then let's give it a slant effect. Just like so. Good. So right now I'll make it a little bit bigger. So right now we are creating you know, something unique right here. So let's create you know a perfect circle right here. Then you change that to white. So right click, then you try and uh, center it within the test, then trim that up, then reduce this a little bit, then you bring in the uh mister up. So bolding that a little bit, then you center it within the circle. Good. So right now what I'm gonna do is to go over and create you know a line, then beneath it, then let's combine the whole thing together. Good. Can you see that? So let's place this a little bit up, then let's bring in the address. So what we are going to be doing is to pull this up a bit. Then let's go a little bit down to change this to a center from here. Then let's put a short at the center it within that. Good. Then pull it up a bit. Then go over to enter from here. Good. So in this case we are changing this to try jan. So let's go over and select it. Then change it to try jan. Good. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Then let's pull the let's bring this up a bit. Control page up. So here we come to the end of today. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button to subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what I'm sharing right now. Bye for now. See you in the next one.